everyone, Shalik from One here, and welcome back. I am very excited. We are getting into episode four of Hey Arnold today, and I don't know what to expect. I'm ready to just jump into it. Um, I know one of the episodes is called Helga's Makeover, so maybe Helga's gonna treat herself and kind of get into a new look. Is it gonna be good? Is it gonna be bad? I don't know, but we'll find out. So sit back, grab a snack, and enjoy the reaction. This is season one, episode four of Hey Arnold. Yes, let's do it. This old jazzy vibe of like, I don't know, it's it's kind of a fun music choice. This kid still gives me the creeps. Yes. Why are you staring at her? Why don't you give her one? They're giving out invitations and you didn't give her one. Helga. So, baby, what do you want to do Saturday night? Goof on the geeks at the video arcade? Oh my gosh. I was thinking of going to Ron's party. I was gonna say, see, it's hard because she's like such a bully. See, I feel bad for Helga, but at the same time, she brings it on herself because she's just so mean to everybody. Playing ball in the street. Wow, she shoved him out the way. Why is that kid not wearing shoes? Oh my gosh, really? Are you saying this because she's a girl, or are you saying it because it's Helga? We're having a boys only game since all the girls are having a girls only slumber party. Oh. Wait a minute. How come you're not at the slumber party? Oh, yeah. I forgot. You weren't invited because you're not girl enough. Wow. You know, Gerald, I almost feel sorry for you. Yeah. The key word there is almost. Not girl enough. What a bunch of crap. Oh, she really just said crap in a in a kid's show. Oh, ew, dude, she doesn't even look like a boy. I don't know why they're judging her so hard. Oh, see, she's got a crap home life in there, and now she's laughing. How could you're supposed to be her friend? I'll show them feminine. I'll show them all. They'll be sorry they ever messed with Helga G. Pataki. Ew. Here. Oh my gosh, why? Why? Yo, Yolanda! Come Yolanda. Copy of Preteen Miss. Preteen Miss? Yeah, Preteen Miss. You know, the one with the feature on how to make ugly girls pretty. Dude, what the hell? Are you serious? No. Oh. Really? You're not gonna- Oh, okay. I thought she wasn't gonna read it. Hmm. Right. A fire engine red or a pearly pink? I think pink would work better for you. I don't know that red's that color. What? What's going on in there? Are you alright? I'm fine, mother! Ooh. Oh my gosh. Oh, she's gonna- Satisfied! Oh my. What the hell is your problem? Gone a bit lighter on the eyeshadow. Oh no. Oh, a falafel hut. Again, I've never had a falafel. I don't know what they are. Okay, so you give her crap when she's dressed like she normally is, but then you're gonna give her crap when she dresses like you want her to dress- See, it's always a cycle. There's always someone who's gonna say something. So you might as well not even worry about it. I think you could have just put your hair down. Oh, this 
something I had lying around the house. It's all the rage this season, though. I don't know. I don't really like the makeover. I brought some of my old makeup in case you wanted any tips. Mm. Nadine, dear, that pink nail polish makes your fingers look awfully stubby, don't you think? Aww. I'd say you're really more of a quarrel. Uh, Helga, can I talk to you for a minute? Not <sighs> now, dear. Oh, yes, Nadine, you're definitely Oh my gosh. I can feel my pores opening already. Oh no. Can I have a word with you? Well... What? What is your problem? Oh, see, now she's being a jerk. Helga, what are you doing? Getting a facial. I never used to like this girly stuff. That's the old. Right, but she can change her mind. I think she's going about it the wrong way, but I think that you can have stages like that. At least she was honest. Okay, Helga. See, she didn't know that that's what that was for. That's going to take off all your makeup. Is this really... It's not avocado that you use to make a face mask, is it? I guess I didn't know what it was, but I didn't think it was mashed avocado. This is stupid! That's what's wrong! But Helga, this mask will help reduce wrinkles and signs of aging. You're not aging. You're eight. We don't have signs of aging. We're nine years old. Honda, I'm not like the rest of you. I'm not wearing a mask. Oh, I get it. Tin foil in our hair, cloth on our faces, high heel shoes? Mm. Why are we wearing it? We're already taller than the boys. Yeah. But Helga, this is what girls do. Not all girls. Girl, you can be a girly girl and you can be a tomboy. It's just. I still don't understand what the goal here was. Are we gonna like stomp him or like are we gonna put makeup on him? <laughs> oh my gosh. Now this is what I call a good party. You said it, Careful with that lever there. It swings the wrecking ball. Now, move it slowly. Why is there a poodle in the junkyard? That's it. A little more. Wait, You're letting... Wait. You're letting an eight-year-old operate a machine that has a wrecking ball. Why? That's a nickname? Yeah, it's a great nickname. Come on. Why though? What does Bill have to do with like uh, Bill as in building? Like huh? demolitions? <laughs> a kind of a tradition here. At your five hundredth demolition, your son gets to sit in the wrecking rig with you. Only I never met the right woman. Oh. So, so it's a little short notice for me to come up with a son by Wednesday. Oh, he wants him to be there. That's so sweet. I'd love to. That's so sweet. Oh my gosh, Grandma, what are you wearing? Hi, Grandma. Sorry. No time for small talk, kiddo. We what are you wearing? The circle theater. Do they want to tear it down and put in an Oh no, because he's friends with the demolition guys, so now we're going to have a dilemma. Ooh, little jazz music. In pieces on the floor. So tell me why should I break some things of yours? That's an odd song to uh, be a romantic song. Is that what the grandpa used to look like? Oh my gosh. Grandpa used to be kind of kind of put together. 
No, see, I told you. Oh. See, it's gonna be a dilemma because he's gonna have to choose between helping his friend and being supportive of his grandma. And the grandma's gonna be so disappointed. No, no, no. Well, crap. I just wanted to thank you for helping me on the big campaign. It's you and me, Arnold. Can anyone else, like, show up right now to make this more awkward? Won't let me down, will ya? Hmm. Poor Arnold's always put in the middle. Oh, and he can go from his room to the roof? That's cool. I was wondering if I could talk to Oh, man. Shoot, short man. Wow. <laughs> he kicked it so hard. It was over it. Right. He wasn't done, though. Wait. I can't believe he's sitting on the edge of that building. I would be losing my mind. Right, you're not understanding the dilemma. Mm -hmm. Um. Oh my gosh. He's gonna throw- oh, okay, I thought he was gonna throw a potato at her. <laughs> Wait a second. I thought this was a fantasy. This is real. He really sat both of them down and they acted like that? Wow. I thought he was having, like, um... That was his imagination. Well, shoot, now what do we do? Oh, is he gonna- You're not gonna do it. What if you get Dino Spinoni to come here? And like, convince everybody. Is that what he's doing? <laughs> Was I right? Would his name really be in the phone book if he's a f I guess maybe? I guess all numbers are. Grandpa, you're not helping. He really got him? Really? I, maybe he's not that famous anymore. Who's that? Really? I thought we recalled her. But first, <laughs> to say a few words about the Circle Theater, let me introduce a man who needs no introduction, Mr. Dino Spumoni. Woo, Dino Spumoni! My attention. You know, folks, the Circle's got a lot of history for me. I sang some of my best numbers here. <laughs> on some of the finest photographers in the world. Pow, right in the kisser. But that's another story. The point is, this boy okay. here got me and the mayor together. We realize no we way, they're together. An old building for posteriority. I hereby declare the old circle theater a city landmark. Oh, the circle theater. You were the reason I decided to go with the demolition. Oh, she really chained herself. You too, really? We're gonna do this? 
Oh, he's gonna. <laughs> what are you gonna wreck? Oh, is he gonna turn on the music? Darling, you left my heart Aww. In pieces on the floor. So tell me why should I break some things of yours? Alright, so that was Hey Arnold episode four. Honestly, probably not one of my favorites. Um the both the episodes were kind of like they were okay. They were good. But I don't know that there was one that was my favorite. I probably would say the Helga based one. You know what's the funniest part? Helga is the most frustrating character for me, but it also I really like when they're centered on Helga for some reason. It's it's a weird dilemma because I really like Helga-centered episodes, or at least ones that involve her a lot. But she's also like, she's also a very debatable if she's a good or bad character. I guess not good or bad. Let's not say that. It's it's very debatable if she has warrant because you want to feel bad for her, but growing up or having a bad childhood doesn't give you an excuse to be a rude or bad person. So a lot of the time I feel really bad for her because of her circumstance and the way people treat her because she treats them certain ways. So it's kind of hard because you want to like her, but she also gives you a lot of reason not to like her. Um, I did hear from you guys though that she does go through a lot of development and there is a lot more expansion on her story as we go on. So I'm kind of interested to see that because I already know the mom's like implied that she's an alcoholic. I know that um, the sisters like really, really put above everybody, everything else. And like they don't really care much about Helga. They care more about her sister and they're very absent parents. Um, that's the things I know about Helga so far. But knowing that already and seeing the way she acts, it's kind of hard for me to still be sympathetic towards her. But... Aside from Helga, aside from all of that and all that rambling, I'm sorry, but the episodes. I thought they were good. I really, like I said, I liked the one with Helga. I liked the message in the Helga one. Demolition one, that was kind of sweet as well. I really liked the relationship between the Demolition guy and Arnold. And, you know, I don't know, Arnold's kind of a fun character because he's one of those kids that you just... He's not really a jerk. He kind of is like the helpful one in all these circumstances. He wants to do right by everybody. Mission one, that one didn't touch me as much or like make me feel as much. I did think that it was really sweet that the demolition guy um, asked Arnold to be his son for a day. I think that would be really cute and would have been a really cute moment. But obviously, I think it's great that they figured out things. I still can't believe I thought that that whole thing with the dinner I thought that was part of his imagination like he was envisioning or he was dreaming or daydreaming about it and then it turned out it was real and I was like oh I, I was totally checked out because I didn't even know this was real but honestly it was a good episode it was a good two episodes I'm hopeful for the next one to be a little bit more engaging for me because like I said these ones just didn't hit me as much but not every episode is going to do that not every episode is going to be so impactful or so interesting or so fun so I'm really excited to check out the next episodes. I hope you guys are enjoying the content. If you are, be sure to leave a like on the video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for staying awesome. And until next time, guys. Bye.